Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. So in the previous video, we have created a toxicity classifier model. So if you remember, we took the data from Kaggle, the tweets data, and then we performed some NLP task uh, like Lemmatizer, and then we used uh, a supervised machine learning algorithm to train the classifier. So we used multinomial NAS base to train the classifier and we got a ROC AUC score of 96%. Okay, and you can get that uh, model here, the uh, notebook file on the GitHub repository of toxicity classifier app. So in this video, we are going to create an endpoint. Okay, we'll create the endpoint in fast API. So we'll pass the uh, text input and in response, we'll get the classes, uh, the labels, which are the toxic and non-toxic. This is what we are going to do. So now we are going to use that model. Okay, and we'll create an endpoint and then we can also deploy that endpoint in the coming videos. We'll use that in Streamlit and we can deploy it as well. So let's see what we are going to uh, do this here. So let me minimize this. And I will go inside this file folder, sorry. And let me open this in here, okay. So what I'm going to do now, okay, I'm first going to open in VS code. So you can see these are the requirements that we need. The requirements.py file, uh, requirement.txt file that we have. So we have fast API, which is a web framework uh, that we are going to use uh, to create the endpoint. You can also use Flask and you know Django or any other. You can also use even Node, you know, to create those endpoints. But I'm going to create fast API because it's extremely powerful. I feel. Uh, to you know, create endpoints and you know uh, let end user or the software developers team to utilize your model okay through fast api okay because it has capability of asynchronous function it has starlet it has better uh, oems and data management as well okay so with pydentic and all it has it has a validation capabilities as well so we are going to use fast api you can read about uh, it more on the internet uh, it's very famous so and then we have scikit-learn uh, because we have created this uh, uh, multinomial uh, uh, algorithm we have used, right? Multinomial nav base to create the model. And then Uvicon, which is a server to run this fast API code that we will write. And then NumPy to perform the mathematical operations like we have to convert the text into array, right? The string that we'll have. So these are the my TF ID of the feature that we uh, dumped uh, with help of Pickle. And here the saved model. Uh, toxicity model dot pkt and these were the data and so let me do one thing i'll first uh, activate the virtual environment i already have installed this uh, dependencies you can also do with help of you know pip3 let's first activate so what i'm going to do now i'm going to cd uh, vmv excuse me not env cd vmv cd bin source activate if you are on Windows, you have to do uh, only activate or dot slash activate if you are on power cell. So source activate, I'll do cd dot dot and cd dot dot. And then now what I will do now, I'll, if you haven't installed yet, you can install it like this, pip3 install uh, requirements.txt. But I already have done it, so I'm not going to do that. So now let's create a file here app.py and here we'll write our uh, uh, endpoint code so we'll use fast api so what i'm going to do i'm going to do from fast api import fast api this is my import and then we'll have uh, to import pickle import pickle to load that uh, model weights and then that uh, uh, TF ID of features that we have and then we'll also import numpy as I mentioned in the beginning that we have to use numpy to convert that uh, string to an array because we have to pass it to the model to get the uh, classification of predictions and then import numpy as np and then we'll couple of SQL on modules here the first is to get the TF ID of so feature extraction dot text import TF ID of vectorizer TF and then we need from sklearn dot you know model uh, no nav base sorry nav base import multinomial 
so we are set with the imports now what we are going to do uh, guys we have to initiate the fast api application here so we have to similarly we also doing flask if we have worked with flask so app where there we do flask here we are doing fast api we can also you can also write some specification for your api if you read there are a lot of uh, ask and quark that you can use it right description and all those things i don't want to do that right now okay so maybe it's okay so for for now it's fine we don't want to specify uh, write any specification like versions and descriptions and also app fast api and then what i'm going to do is to load that so let's load the uh, tf idf and models so the first thing is let's call it uh, tf idf equals to pickle dot load yes and then we'll use this open and we'll just pass the file uh, name which is tf idf excuse me tf idf dot pkt and then we the read uh, write at uh, read attributes so read attributes this is done same will go for model so what we can do we can just say nb underscore model which is a standard you know way of writing a variable when you are using a nav based model practices pickle dot load and here it will be nb model dot no it's not nb model so in my case it's toxicity model so toxicity model the pkt and then again we have this uh, uh, read attributes okay what happened one more okay so we have done with the that now what we'll do guys we'll write the endpoints so i'll just say endpoints endpoints yeah so decorator again so app dot post it's we are going to do a post here so app dot post and my endpoint will be nothing but the slash predict guys and now i will define a asynchronous function uh, that's why a lot of people use fast api so async excuse me async diff predict and if this is my function so here i have to define the structure of the input data that i'm going to have the input text or the input whatever you name it so in my case it will be text I again going sorry text and this is nothing but an string so this is the structure of the data that i have and now here i will write the uh, code where i will use this couple of tf idf and the model weights the model that i have and i will uh, make the prediction it will classify bit the text between toxic and non toxic right so First, we have to transform it. If you remember, when we trained the model, we also we also first did a free transform. But when we testing it out, we did the transform on the TF IDF, right? So transform the input. So basically, to TF IDF vector the feature that we have created to input uh, input to TF what happened TF IDF vectors to create the text to vectors. Nothing don't understand text or that we have the English right the the alphabets or the grammars they have to convert them into vectors to perform the operations. So what I'm going to do now text underscore tf idf equals tf idf dot transform. You can see it's suggesting me also. So the text was the input parameter here text and then what I'm going to do now is it should go in through a list through text and then. We have to convert this into array. So I'll just use two array here. That's why we'll uh, have this numpy on top. So two array. Let me just do two array. Okay. Text tfidf tfidf dot transform and then two array, which is uh, numpy the dependency guys. So text tfidf tfidf dot transform text dot two array. Now what next? So once we have that, we'll uh, make the prediction. So predict predict the class of the input text. Okay. Class of. Let me just write it. Input text. Just let me call it prediction. In prediction, now what we're going to do? I'm going to use this text EF IDF, but first we have to do that NB model dot predict, and then here we have to pass the text TF IDF. So what we are doing? We have uh, the variable here, the NB underscore model. We are doing that, and we are using the predict function of uh, this when we load the model. Right? We have the predict function there inside this multinomial uh, nav base, and then we are using text TF IDF. Now let's map it. So we have to map the output, guys. So map the predicted class to a string. So let's map the predicted class to a string. That's it. So how are we going to map it? So let me call it class name. And in, excuse me, in class name, toxic if prediction equal equal is my prediction, right? Prediction equal equal uh, one and else. Excuse me. Else, it's it's going to be non-toxic. Very simple. 
so non toxic and then we'll return it so return the json or something right it return the prediction in a json response return the prediction in a json response guys so now what we can do we are going to return this so return the prediction so let's return so return so here here we will return it so again key value pair right so a dictionary so text and for that text we will have our input text and in the uh, class we will have guys our this uh, class name that we have so class name and i think that will do now let's do one thing what we did here guys quickly we imported the libraries uh, fast api numpy pickle pickle to uh, load this couple of uh, files that we have and then we use sklearn for tf id of vectorizer and then nav to load the model we loaded it we created an endpoint called predict and we took the text as a string as a data input then we transformed it to convert and to convert it to array then we used a nav based model there to predict it and then we map the predicted class to a string toxic and non toxic and then we just return this to a dictionary right so now let's run this guys so what i'm going to do now i'm going to open my terminal here you can see and i'm going to say evcon app which is my file name and app which is my app name you can see here we have app right and hyphen hyphen reload so why i'm using reload is that every time i make any changes in the code it will you know automatically uh, we automatically will be reflected in the ui or the api that we have created right the results now let's see let's hit the run button enter and let's see if we are able to get the local host local host 8000 you can see we are able to get now let's uh, come back to localhost and you can see i am here now you can see that swagger ui okay swagger ui comes inbuilt with fast api okay and you can see over here uh, we have a we haven't uh, done any documentation or specification for this particular api or the endpoint that we have created we can only see an endpoint called predict and if you see over here we have an option called try it out so you can try it out and which take text which is a string and we can pass it i'll say i hate you or something i hate you more on or let's try this and you can see the uh, request url so request url was this http localhost 8000 slash endpoint which is predict and other this text and this is the text that i we have asked for and what we are getting it now here guys that text i hate you more on and the class which is toxic wonderful right and it's 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 pretty fast also it didn't take more than 3 second i'll say so what i'm going to do now i'm going to change this i'll say the product was you know super something like this and you can see within us uh, within a second it's a non toxic right so this is how we built it guys so this is a this was a basically a binary classification model we just created an endpoint of it on top of it now we can you know we can deploy this api or we can use this endpoint or api in our application so what we did if you go back we imported fast api then we imported pickle to load this couple of files then we have numpy for mathematical operations then we have scikit learn you know to uh, import the tf id of vectorizer to get the uh, uh, feature there and then we have uh, this model multi multinomial uh, nav base and then we created this app within a fast api and then we have loaded this uh, tf id of an app based model here from directory you can see and we have created an endpoint called slash predict which is my endpoint predict and then here we have defined the structure of data that will the input data that we have and then we first use this transform and then we convert it to an array uh, and then we have predict the classes with help of the model and then we map that predicted class to a string so toxic a prediction equal equal one else non toxic and then we just return through a dictionary there so this is what we did in this video guys and you can see that we got this uh, response here for both toxic and non toxic so what we'll do in next video you know in the next video we will first create a streamlit application and then we'll deploy that streamlit application uh, on sigar streamlit and we'll also deploy this fast api that we have created maybe on rapid api okay we will we'll host this through an api and we'll have an api this provide an api gateway where you know you can create free or you know some paid plan for the end user on rapid rapid api that's what we are going to do in the upcoming videos guys so if you really like this video please 
you know hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed the channel please do subscribe the channel and if share this uh, channel and video with your friends and in your peer okay thank you so much for watching this video guys see you in the next video